What's going on everybody? It's Eric Rayweather back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a pro tip on defense to help you get a lot more stops in Madden 18. Now, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So for today's video, it's going to be a quick, simple tip. Uh, it's, a, it's like a little bit of a pro tip that more of the top players know or you know something that more experienced players tend to do and the less experienced players maybe don't know about and this is something that will help you get a lot more stops uh, this year so Tampa 2 you know you commonly run coverage in real life uh, it was really popular last year in Madden uh, this year it's popular again but the one really big weakness this year that wasn't there as much last year is the deep middle of the field just gives up way too many yards last year it was with the way you could cross man or you know, with the way the safeties played last year, it wasn't easy to just dominate over the middle, deep middle of the field against cover two every time. But this year, the safeties just flare way too far out. And the problem is, is in real life, if there's no, if, you know, if the, if the offense isn't running the ball post snap, this linebacker is going to just keep drifting far back. There's not really many scenarios where he's going to stay too low. But in Madden, against certain plays and against certain post routes, this linebacker kind of gets confused and he'll you know go to the side or kind of suck down low and just leave the middle of the field the deep middle of the field too vulnerable whereas in real life that would be his assignment to stay back there so we're going to look at halfback wheel which is one of the more popular plays in the game and this play is a good example when you're you know this close to the end zone you're striking distance anytime against cover two because it's a one play touchdown if you're you know 40 to 35 30 yards out you're pretty much almost guaranteed a touchdown if they run a Tampa 2 and they're not guarding that middle of the field manually as you can see Julio Jones like the safeties will just not get down there in time the safeties are going to flare way too far out and they're just not going to make anything happen you'll see we'll run it again it's just it's just too hard for them to get down there so you might say well you can just use that which is true so let's say I'm a man up Keekly on Jones here to simulate us using him. The problem with this is if you're playing against an experienced player, they're going to have a high low read. So we have the post going over the middle, and then you'll have either like a slant or an in route. I prefer the in route. So I'm going to put uh, Sanu on the in route, and you see we go over the middle, and we're going to pick up about 10 yards every time with that. So that's the problem. If you go back there and use the post, a good player is just going to eat you up underneath and pick up 10 yards a pop. Now, yeah, if he's only picking up like 4 or 5 yards a pop and you were hit-sticking him, you can live with that. But 10 yards a pop is still a little bit too much. So the way we fix this is, the way that you know pro players fix this is, we're going to take Keekly and we're going to drop him back into a deep blue. So we do that by pressing A or X, depending on which system you're on, and then up on the left stick. So now he's playing the area of the field that he's really supposed to play and now what you do is you take one of these linebackers that's in the yellow and you patrol over this shallow middle of the field so any crossing routes or in routes or anything that comes over the middle you can manually take that away because now if you try to throw the post on a good linebacker he's gonna either pick it off swat it or he's gonna make it a tough catch I'm not saying that it's impossible to complete the pass on the linebacker but it's not a safe throw it's not a throw you want to make so you see here we throw it over the middle and Keekly picks it off now you do want a good zone coverage linebacker there you don't want to put a linebacker back there that has like 65 zone or 70 uh, you want somebody in the 80s if possible most teams have at least one guy in the 80s uh, if not the 80s, you know, you should have somebody at least high 70s. That's who you want in that spot because he's going to better defend this. As you can see, we can't complete the post on him. He's picking it off every time. And then you can use the shallow middle of the field. So what you're doing with this is you're creating, like, the safest pass coverage because you may think, like, oh, cover four has four deep blue zones, so it's the safest. But really, a Tampa 2, when you drop this guy back, it, it's almost, in a sense, like a cover five, if, if you will, because you have these cloud flats who they're not going to play shallow there's very few scenarios that's going to glitch them out and force them to play shallow these cloud flats are going to drift back like so and they're going to carry any vertical routes deep so you're basically like having four deep zones on the field so what happens is you're covering the shallow middle and you got all deep routes covered so all your opponent can really do is dump down to the flats and what those cloud flats will do is when they see that you're throwing to the flats they're going to break into the flats like so so they're gonna break down and you're gonna 
you know, keep them under five yards in most scenarios. I mean, they might get five at best, but you're going to keep them at around three to four yards in most cases. And that's what you want, because if you can force them to throw to the flats for just a few yards, a couple yards, and then lay a hit stick on them, that's not a good situation for the offense to be in. You're forcing them to take very, very minimal gains and then be vulnerable to hit sticks that could cause fumbles. So this is like the safest coverage in the game once you tweak that middle linebacker and drop him deep because now it's hard for them to get a lot of you know vertical routes on you. And then as long as you can manually guard the shallow middle of the field, you're going to make it a lot harder for your opponents to move the ball on you. So that's just a little pro tip if you guys don't know that. Just adding that one simple adjustment makes Tampa 2 defense so much more better this year. So definitely start doing that when you run Tampa 2 and you will see a lot more success uh, in getting stops on defense. So if you guys enjoyed this video as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.